it's going, we, more will come. It's good to be in revival, isn't it? Yes. How many of you feel revival already? Yes. Amen. As Brother Ray said last night, as long as we put our heart into it, we will get in what we put in. We will get out what we put in. So I trust that we've come with our cups turned upward tonight to receive another blessing from the Lord. But, but since we are in revival, I'd like us to stand. Sister Fifi is going to put a chorus up for us. And we're going to sing this song. We are together again. Reach out and extend the hand of fellowship to someone next to you. Or even a warm embrace. It's revival time. We are together again. Just praising the Lord. We are together again. In one accord. Something good is going to happen. Something good is going to happen. We are together again. standing for the opening prayer. Sister Weida is going to come and lead us. Amen. We are together again, just praising the Lord. Thank the Lord for another day, for his love, his mercies, extended to each of us, and bringing us in the house of God another time. And we are here to honor him, praise him, and magnify his name. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, please. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Eternal Father who art in heaven, maker and ruler of the universe, we come before you one more time, giving you thanks for another privilege you have afforded unto us, O oh God. You kept us through another day. You protected us on the highways. You gave us food, teeth, clothes to wear a roof over our head. So much, Lord, to thank you for, so much to praise you for. See, you have been so good good to us. So we honor you tonight. We magnify you, O oh God. We lift your name on high for your word of our prayers from the rising of the sun till the going down there at. We thank you, Lord, for this revival. Yes, we thank you for the service last night. We thank you for tonight and throughout the entire week, O oh God. If our lives be spare, we pray come and tabernacle with us. Bring out the people. Bless the messages. Bless the messenger, O oh God. We pray for Brother Shaw once again. Ignite his lips, O oh God. Use into your honor, praise, and glory. And 
that their soul shall be awakened and realize this world is not our home. We're just a passing through. Bless us tonight, oh God. We rebuke the devil and we claim deliverance. Remember those that are mourning, comfort them. Remember the warring nation, oh God. We pray for peace, knowing that the angel announced peace are not goodwill to men. Awaken our people, awaken our island, oh God. We ask you, Lord, to take for us. Remember, dear sister, dead tonight, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Reach down your mighty hand and touch, oh God. We know that you're the bam in Israel and there's nothing that you cannot do. Remember, brother, no on the sea, eh? sister Virginia, the men of us, oh God. Time would fail us, but Lord, you know us about us. Bless our families, bless our children, our friends, oh God. Again, remember, Ryland right, steeped in wickedness and sin. We pray in wrath. Remember mercy. Remember each one that bear the strain of this work. Remember their pastor Arch, my God. Bless him. Strengthen him from there today. Have and strength. Keep your hands upon him, oh God. Remember their brother shepherd tonight. We thank you for what you've been doing for him, oh God. Continue to touch, heal, and deliver. Bless each one as we labor together. Brother Ray, brother Dwayne, brother Horace, brother Anger, Lord, each and every one there, but a Roy, we pray for her tonight. So continue to be with us, O oh God. Give us an outstanding service. We rebuke the devil once again. We claim deliverance. And what we fail to ask you for, Lord, fail not to grant it while we say thanks in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. For those of you that have joined us since we began, we extend a warm Christian welcome, especially to our brethren from East End. It's good to have Sister Weed and the brethren here with us, the brethren from Honduras, and all of you that are visiting with us tonight. We also extend welcome to those that are joining us online, and we trust that the service will prove to be a blessing to each and every one. Sister KK will now come and lead us in two congregational songs. Number 293 out of our church hymnal. There's a fountain opened in the house of God where the vilest of sinners may go and all test the power of the crimson flood of the blood that makes whiter than snow. Oh, praise the Lord. 
one sings like the church of God. Amen. 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 Thank the Lord. That song was a blessing. Yeah. Really touching. At this time, let's turn to the extreme back of our hymnals, page 469, reading number 42. 469, the extreme back of our hymnals, number 42. The gospel for all people. Amen. Forgot to open my book. Number 42. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Declare his glory among the heathen and his wonders among all people. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be declared above all laws. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And saying the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men altogether. And straightway they forsook their neck and followed him. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. We'll now go into our special singing. Sister Maxine is going to come and sing a solo for us, and that will be followed by a trio. What a friend we have in Jesus. Good night, church. It's revival time. Twas Jesus, my Savior. Twas Jesus, my Savior, who died on the tree to open up. A Shall break. 
She did a wonderful job. Good job, Brother Blinky. God continue to bless you. <laughs> Our announcements are as follows. We will be having, continue to have uh, revival prayer meetings uh, each day from tomorrow till Friday. That will be from 11.45 till 12.30 here at the sanctuary. So if you have time to come off for a lunch hour, you can meet with us here for prayer, 11.45 to 12.30. And that will be from tomorrow, th tomorrow to Friday. And also, our revival efforts continue tomorrow night here at 7 p.m. At this time, Sister Mayfern is going to sing a solo for us, and that will be followed by the Universal Gospel Singers. Praise the Lord, church. We give the Lord thanks for being here tonight. Thank him for his goodness and his mercy towards me. I want to sing this song for the honor and the glory of God. Hope it be a blessing to some soul. Amazing love. How could it be that the Thank you, Lord, for 
are such great gain. My soul was bound in sin so deep. My chains fell off. My heart was free. I arose with love. tonight singing with He Can Count On Me.
been following the footstep of the Lord. He can count on me. He can count on me. I've decided to obey the teachings of His blessed Word. He can count. He can count on me. He can count on me. Count on me to my Lord and to His service. I will faithfully for the truth and for the right. In the hardest of the fight, He can count. He can count on me. In the hardest years of need, anywhere my lot may be. He can count on me, He can count on me. All my talents I have given, precious souls are saved to free. He can count, He can count on me. He can count, he can count on me. He can count, he can count on me. To my Lord and to His service I will faithfully. of the fight, he can count, he can count on me. All their faith forsaken servants and go back into their sin, he can count on me, he can count on me. I'm determined to be faithful and the crown of life to win, he can count, he can count on me. Brother Shaw and I was at a restaurant. Brother Shaw and Sister Shaw and, and then myself was at a restaurant on Tuesday. And they had a ball green up on a screen. And as we watched, the stadium was just packed with people. I don't know if they could fit anybody else in. And, you know, the, the crowd was just real enthusiastic, waving their hands, doing whatever. And the thought came to me as I glanced up at the TV screen. Those are thousands of people congregated in one spot, paid money out of their pocket just to watch an inflated ball cross a line. And when that ball crosses a line, the crowd goes wild. 
Imagine if somehow we could attract that much people to the truth and to the church. What a different world it would be. What a privilege it is to hear the gospel preach. Those of you that are here tonight, you have a golden privilege. So I beg of you tonight, open your hearts, still your minds, and listen to what the Lord has to say. It is my happy privilege to call on our beloved brother David Shaw, all the way from Manchester, Jamaica, to bring to us what the Lord has laid on his heart. Brother David. God bless brother David. This saying is true. As Brother Dwayne has mentioned, we both share the sentiment. As we viewed the crowd watching the ball game, rejoicing when victory is on their sides, hailing and waving their hands, appalling those who are so skillful in the game. Suddenly, we saw something that is not different. When we think of the spiritual aspect of man's life and the choice that man has made, we have seen a downhill trend. But I'm thankful tonight, it is not all gone. There's still a few that are conscious and is concerned Amen. about the individual soul. Amen. And that's why you're here tonight. Amen. Already, you are welcome. Yeah. But again, I want to welcome you. Amen. And I want you to feel welcome. Yes. And that the Lord smiles upon us yes. when he saw people desiring to come his way. Yes. Long is calling. And so many have ignored and still ignoring. But we trust as we try to reach some lost soul during the course of this week, even one will come to consciousness. I need thee every hour. I must greet you once again in Jesus' name. The only name that soothes Comfort, thrills, and bring assurance. And tonight, in the name of Jesus, those who have given their lives into his hand can shout for victory. Amen. And hear his name. Amen. Because he's not dead. Amen. But he's alive. Amen. I would like to bring us to a popular passage of scripture. In Joshua chapter 24. Joshua 24, and I want to read from verse 14 down for your information. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the island of the flood and in Egypt, and serve he the Lord. And if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom we will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the God of the Amorite in whose land he dwell. But for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God, he is that brought us up out of our father, out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bandage. And which did those great signs in our sight. Amen. And preserve us in all the way wherein we went. And among all the people through whom we passed. 
The Lord drove out from before us all the people, even the Amorite, which dwell in the land. Therefore, we will also serve the Lord, for he is our God. And Joshua said unto the people, He cannot serve the Lord, for he is a holy God. He is a jealous God. He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Lord and serve strange gods, then he will turn and do you hurt and consume you. After that, he hath done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Lord. And Joshua said unto the people, your witnesses against yourself, that he have chosen you, the Lord, to serve him. And they said, we are witnesses. Now therefore, put away, said he, the strange God which are among you, and incline your heart unto the Lord God of Israel. And the people said unto Joshua, the Lord our God we will serve, and his voice we will obey. So Joshua made a covenant with the people that day, and set them a statue and an audience in Shechem. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word of remembrance. Thank you that you have loved us and have always want us to seek to please thee in all our undertakings. But in many instances we are. We pray great God you will bless this audience tonight as they sit, yes. listen to your word. Yes, they make a choice to serve thee and thee only. Amen. Because thy word declare that thou art a jealous God. And we shall have no other beside thee. Grant us stable hearts and mind that we will be able to sow shoes. To please thee in all our days. Regardless of the circumstances we undergo. Help us not to forget that you cares. And that we can find a friend in thee. Amen. Within us we pray and keep hearts firm and steadfast I pray. And let it be that this audience will seek to find in thee their entire relationship. One will be last through time and eternity. Amen. So bless your word I pray and grant us somebody shall be informed who have not yet made this important choice to do so now, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If you notice in the passage we have read, Joshua had a concern. And every true minister of the gospel would have a concern. He was given the command to lead God's people. And he noticed that they were contrary in their thoughts and ideas. And what was one of the greatest problems they have? They learned the ways of the people with whom they encounter. They were warned before. That when you go into this strange land, do not learn the ways of the heathen. But you know we are in a world where people easily copy yes. Yes. gravitate to what they see yes. and feel left out if they are not in the rank yes. and so in many instances they fall in the plight of the wicked yes. and lose the portion of blessing that should be theirs yes. and it brings in the end regret they were among people that serve idol. And today we are still among a world that serve idols. It is common in the world. People still serve idols. And you know, a lot of the idols are ourselves. One writer look in the whole idol and said, the dearest idol have I known. 
Whate'er the idol be, help me tear it from thy throne and worship only thee. Yeah. Have you ever looked in the mirror and feel extra special? Yeah. Have you ever looked in the mirror and find a fault with yourself? Yeah. And tell yourself, this shouldn't be so. Yes. This shouldn't be so. Yes. And then you begin to think of how you can make it better. Yes. It's a common thing in the world. Yes. As we walk the streets, we can see people that looks in the mirror and tell themselves, I'm not satisfied what I am. But I've heard the word of God ask a question. Can the clay say to the potter, why art thou made me so? Why art thou made me so? We have a God of variety. And thank God for God. He made some short. May some tall, may some slim, may some stout, he may some dark, he makes some brown, he makes some black, he makes some white. Come on. A God of variety. When we look at the world around us, what do you really put together in your mind? We see a God of mouth. I got a wonder. Yes. I got a great wisdom. Yes. A mighty God. Yes. And I mentioned he's a God of varieties. Yes. And if all of us was the same, what would excite us? Yes. Nothing. Yes. What would have caught your wonder? Nothing. Yes. Look at everything you look alike. Yes. What do we look at varieties? We got to wonder. We got to think. How did God made it the way He did? Yes. If you take these two terms, they're altogether different. Yes. And a million people in the world, their term is altogether different. Yes. That's why our fingerprint is used yes. Yes. to track. If you do anything and your fingerprint left and the instrument or whatever you touch, when somebody else's is put together, it is different and the fingerprint is yours. Yes. Hello? Yes. Nobody's fingerprint is yours. Yes. Yours is yours. Yes. What a mighty God. Yes. When God began to mix the paint, You could imagine the different buckets of paint the Lord has. And when he formed Brother James, he said, This color would match him. <laughs> <laughs> when he formed Brother Dwayne, he said, This color would match him. And God matches our color. Is anybody here, color does not match you? Have you ever been painted over since creation? I do not wonder when David said, when I looked in the mirror, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And I think he thought of how he was made and death upon day. He spent time trying to put together how he was made and his such knowledge is too wonderful for me. I cannot attain unto it. Yes. Meaning, I can't understand how I was made. Yes. 
And when God go through that process to make he made him for his honor, for his glory, and for his praise. And man allowed himself to be tricked by the enemy. And they sought to invent and what God do. And today there are a lot of inventions. But you know something? Once you start to invent on yourself, you are becoming. Tell me. Go ahead, brother. Come on. Up. Go ahead. Artificial. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Once you start invent and what God do, you are becoming artificial. Yes, yes, what God make is natural. What man do is artificial. And you know God chooses a people for himself and they will call the children of Israel or the Hebrew children. God wants to make a nation out of them, a special nation, a holy people, a peculiar people, a royal nation, a true generation, a called out people Separate for himself. Because the world was marred. God gave Moses and Aaron the authority to take the bandage in Egypt. And so they were delivered out of Egypt's bandage. And they were brought into a land where God intended them to enjoy life. And the things that he prepared for them. There were corn and wine and there was grape and all the good things to have enjoyed were in that fruitful land. Yes. And so they were told to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth by the Holy God. Yes. And so they began to make choices. And their choices were wrong. Yes. And pastor saw it. He called the congregation to attention. Yes. Because he knew he was responsible. Yes. Amen. Yes. Ministers, you're responsible. Yes. 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 It is not a name of honor. Amen, brother. Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. Amen. That's right. It is not a power being enlisted. No. It is a responsibility yes. to guide the people in the pathway of truth and righteousness. Yes. And so God said, Woe be unto the pastor that lead my people astray. Woe be unto the pastor that divide and study the flock and just will take it serious. So Joshua called them to attention. I notice you are strain. And this day, I want you to make a commitment. I want to be fully concerned that we are notified by the God we served. You know, I mentioned last night, some people try to hide from God. Foolish idea. Yes. All of us think we would hide at one time. Don't you think you would hide? Yes. Have you ever hide and do anything yet? Yes. Certainly you do. Yes. Everybody in this building hide and do something. Yes. Come on. Uh. I'm also guilty. Yes. Is the yes. Come on. Uh. Yes. Somebody hide and do something. Yes. Take Mama Sugar in her absent. Yes. Come on. Be honest to yourself. Yes. We are guilty. Yes. Thank God for salvation. Amen. 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 It makes us a different individual. Yes. It transforms our mind, transforms our attitude, yes. transforms our conduct, transforms our intention. Yes. And so Joshua said, This is the day you must make a choice. Today is the day. 
It's just what I know, therefore, the first thing he asks, fear the Lord. And that is what is dying out in our land today. People are becoming fearless where God is concerned. And one of my most hard take is that even our children who were grown in Sunday school, craig in church, they become adult, become responsible, and they become astray from the path where they were taught. And it leave the parent with heartache with stress, with pain, with tears, disappointment, and extra concerned. What would be less? If your children are under the influence of God, then something is radically wrong. And so Joshua realized that they were strained. They, they departed from the path where they should have trod. And they began to look the way of Baal. Right. And he said, I wanted to make a decision today. Make a commitment today. Make a sacrifice today. So he said to them, you need to fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity. to underline that word. Yes. Sincerity. Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. I want us to underline that word. Sincerity. Yes. Not only to serve the Lord, but serve him in sincerity. Yes. Because there are a lot of people who thought they can serve two masters at one time. So Christian Sunday morning, but weekday is the devil. We need to be confirmed in our mind that we need to be walking before him day by day, holy, righteous, godly, and soberly. Amen. We must serve the Lord in sincerity of heart. Every day. And also in truth. Yes. Because if I just said that, there are black people who serve and they serve in error. Amen. Come on, church. Yes. Be honest to yourself. Yes. And if you are here, loved ones, or you're not saved tonight, you have made a choice. Yes. Amen. And if you are saved, you have made a choice. Yes. And so I want us to be sincere in the choice we have made. He said, beloved ones, put away the gods which your fathers serve and the earth turn of the flood. Because God said, I'm a jealous God. Amen. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Amen. That's important. Amen. No strange God. Amen. There are people that are becoming so foolish Amen. that things happen in their lives and they to tell you I'm going to look. Hello? Anybody here trying to go and look? Hmm? All the look you're going to look, you're not going to see one thing. Unless you look to Jesus. Because he is the only problem solver. He only has the solution for every situation we undergo. If you leave God for another, vain is the help of man. So we are intended to serve the Lord and him only. We are not going to do as the heathen do. Beloved ones, the heathen strayed. They go after heathen gods. And they serve them, believing that they are doing themselves a favor, but they are not. So we need to serve the Lord. And do not serve the gods that your father served on the other side of the flood. Amen. And it seems evil to you to serve the Lord. And you marvel why some people see it evil to serve God. That's right. yes. wow. People are still believing to serve God. It deprived me of so many things. Yes. Yes. Right. They thought they were the 
deprived in serving God, but you're not deprived, you're depriving yourself not serving God. You see, they want to serve God and serve pleasure. As I mentioned last night. And you can't serve God and serve pleasure. We need to serve the Lord and Him only. And so God depends upon us as individuals to seek to save our soul at any cost. Because we are important people in God's eyes. He sent Jesus to rescue us yes. from the pit of hell. Yes. Amen. Not many preachers want to talk about hell. No. But it's a reality. Yes. Yes. And just like we preach about heaven, yes. hell is also important to be taught. Yes. Talking about a loving God, a God that can be angry. Amen. 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 We talk. God, you can talk about a consuming fire. You talk about a loving God, talk about a God of wrath. So we want the offensive side of God. God can be offended. If you do right, he's pleased. If you do wrong, he's offended. And that's why Joshua is warning the people. If it seems he want you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom he will serve. Amen. And I'm certain every individual under the bond of my voice, whether you're online or in this congregation, you have chosen who you are serving. Yes. Right now you have made a choice. I want you to be that conscious. As you sit before me tonight, you have made a choice. Yes. But I wish before this service be completed, you will be able to change if you, are, if you have not made the right choice. Because it's to serve sin is the wrong choice. Yes. To live not being saved is the wrong choice. Yes. To live grieving God is the wrong choice. Yes. Do you know that God is angry with the wicked every day? Yes. Amen? Amen? And the wicked there, is, I said last night, are those who are not saved. Those who continue to live in sin. You are wicked to yourselves. Yes. You are depriving yourself of the benefit found in God. Yes. And so, he's calling upon us that we change our attitude, change our conduct, Bring ourselves to a point where we make the right decision as to what to do. Make the right choice. Amen. Because there's a way that seems right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. And so Joshua declared unto them. The, the, and the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord and serve other gods. Can I hear that tonight in this audience? Can I hear somebody hail out tonight? Forbid it that I should serve any other God but the true God. Yes. Certainly is worthy of being served. Because he's our supplier in everything. He's our health. He's our strength. He's our breath. He's our eyes. He's our hands. He's our feet. What, is not, what God is not to you? God is everything to you unless God give you energy. What would you do my friend? Amen. How can we survive if God take away the, the energy? If God turn off the current? Come on! If God forbid the sun to shine? What would you do my friend? Thank God he supplied every need. Sometimes we take this thing for granted. We got up and we behold you beautiful sunshine and it warms you. Oh, you feel so hot and there come a nice cool breeze and it soothes you. You take it for granted. It's the mercy of God. The loving God that sustains you, preserved you, and keep you. 
we hold him so much, my friend. And uh, in many instances, we go bankrupt with God. The bill is so high, we can't pay it. But thank God, when it seemed like all was done, Jesus came and he paid it all. Had not Jesus came, we couldn't pay the bill. We would have been bankrupt. But thank God for Jesus. And the writer said, for the Lord our God, he is he that brought us out of the land of, of Egypt. And that is good when you can remember something good the Lord has done for you. There's a reason to serve him. Amen. Saints of God, I thank God for you tonight. There's a reason to serve God. You remember when you were confounded. When you were miserable. Oh, when you were under pressure. Didn't know what to do. Your heart fail in so many instances but now you are a place where you have someone to look to yes. someone to call upon and somebody some earlier what a friend we have in jesus all oh, our sins and grief to bear what a privilege to carry everything to god in prayer once it was not like that but praise god we have the opportunity now we can go to god in prayer with assurance he Hear an answer's prayer. Sometimes we desire that our prayer be instantaneously answered. But they said, wait. Amen. Wait. And certainly, if you wait on the Lord, you shall renew your strength. Amen. You shall be able to model with wings like an eagle. You shall be able to run the race and not be weary. You shall walk faint because God come your pathway and grant you the blessings that you so need so here beloved ones we, you need to make a decision as to whom you will serve them and these people were conscious that God was good to them yes. amen and say beloved ones accept the fact God is good to you yes. the merciful and gracious to anger and plenteous in mercy and truth. If he were strict to mark. And to be punished for the sins and misdeeds committed. The time and space that I've known you now would have not. But we call it loving and gracious. He's tender. He's kind. And therefore you are given an opportunity to be alive today. Yet grieving him. But may you tonight be conscious that today is the day of salvation. And today he desires that if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Don't put it off for tomorrow. Because tomorrow sun may never rise. In many instances, people put out their salvation. And before long, they pass on without a savior. Beloved ones, don't let it be your plight. Yes. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Yes. Call upon him while he is near. Yes. None of us know the limit to our days and time. Yes. Therefore, we are asked to make hay while the sun shines. Yes. While today is today, seek the Lord. Yes. While today is today, serve the Lord. While today is today, be honest to yourself and escape the pollution of death and hell. It is important to do so. And so as these individuals had made up their mind to serve God, I desire that somebody tonight under the body of my voice will make that choice. You know, we learn about the patriarchs of old and all those outstanding men who serve God. And there was one among them by the name of Moses. Remember how great that man was? A very great man. He was the one that led them from Egypt across the Red Sea. And it came to the time, beloved, when he was in Egypt. He made a choice. Amen. He made a choice while he was there. Though he was in state for the next king. Amen. Egypt would have been under his control and supervision. All would be his to enjoy. But he make a choice. 
Make a choice. You know, beloved ones, sometimes, you know, even your job handed you. Come on. Can you make a choice between your job and your soul? Come on. Your job and your soul. This young man have a job. Amen. He had high authority in Egypt. He would have been heard. Amen. But look at his job. Look at his soul. Which tonight to you is of more value? What price can be paid for your soul? Can you tell me? A billion world. Does not value your soul, my friend. And so this young man make a choice. And the word said, by faith, Moses, when he was come to ears, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He was an adopted boy. Yes. When he was born, his mother heard the king's command. But she did not fear the king's command. She feared God. So now we fear government and not God. Many a time our people obey the laws of the land and not the laws of God. They subdue to the laws of the land and not the laws of God. And even when the law is against God, they don't see fit to serve God and not the law. There are some laws implementing now, and I tell you, we better stand firm. Amen. Church, we better stand firm Amen. because there are some new laws across our land. And they're against God. Amen. Come on, church. Amen. Choose this day whom he will serve. If God be God, serve him. Amen. Amen. And many a time we think God is quiet. Because we don't say it quick. Because the lightning don't flash. Because the thunder don't roll. Because there's no utter disaster. We think God is not seeing. He's not hearing and God is quiet. In that because he's quiet, he's giving us time to be considered. Amen. Patient. Yes. Long suffering. Yes. Tender. Yes. Loving. Yes. Compassionate. Yes. Kind. Yes. Give man another chance. Yes. You know, the writer said, when the man of the vineyard went and the tree hadn't any fruit on it, yes. he said, don't cut it down. Give it one more year. Yes. Yes, sir. Hello, church. Yes. If God should cut down, every mouth would have been cut down by now. Yes. Just keep cutting, yes. cutting, cutting. But God is there to water, yes. to mold, to fertilize. Yes. Give the tree another chance. Yes. But if you come back next year, when it's harvest time and there's no fruit, then it shall be cut down. And so, beloved ones, it is time that we take heed. Yes, Moses made a choice. Yes, sir. He refused something Amen. that was valuable, That's right. something that was adoring. Something that was exalted. He would have been exalted as king in Egypt. But he refused it. And sometimes still things come up that way. And we don't refuse it. We allow it to hamper our spiritual pathway. Sometimes even get too busy. Come on. Come on, church. Sometimes even get a little bit too busy. 
No time to pray. Busy. Talk is against me. Can't pray. And, and you said, the Lord understand. The Lord knows. You better check up. Take time to be holy. Speak off with the Lord. Take time out to pray. Amen. Amen. Take time out to pray. Yes. Moses, take time out to consider his way. Yes. He did not only arrive at the conclusion all at once, but thank God he was created knowing that he was not an Egyptian, he was a Hebrew boy. Yes, yes, you see how God did the miracle? Yes. The child. Needed a nurse. Yes. Going back to his childhood day. Amen. And there was a little girl. That watches. Yes, to see what would have been the outcome of the little boy. Yes. And she was so smart. Yes. When the woman picked up the child. She ran to her. Do you need a nurse for the baby? Yes. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Yes. Do you need a nurse for the baby? Yes, he said, I've got a nurse for you. Yes. Who was that nurse? The mother of the child. Yes. Nobody knew it. Nobody. God can't keep secret, brother Dewey. Yes. God can't keep secret. Yes. God want that boy to go down there to learn the evil of Egypt. Yes. And God put him down there secretly. His mother created him with her own breasts. Amen. And all the instruction needed for his growth to be God fearing and fully in the place that God desired him to fill was given to him. He was fully informed. Fully informed. And the day came when he began to fight for his own brethren. And sometimes, you know, you try to help the brethren and they try to. They insult you. They reject you. Who are you to rule over us? You know what happened? God did the best thing to confound the wise. In their idea, Moses was a best boy. But they didn't know where he belonged. Hello. They didn't know where he belonged. And he saw an Egyptian doing evil to his brother. Yes. And he killed him and buried him in the sand. Yes. The following day, he saw two of his brethren mm -hmm. were quarreling and he went to, to make peace. Do you want to kill me like you killed the Egyptian yesterday and buried him in the sand? Yes. The thing is known. The thing is known. But God had a way in doing his thing. Yes. That's the only way he would have run away. That's right. That's right. When he realized that a Pharaoh ever here, that him killed the Egyptian, then he's going to be slain too. Right. So he ran for his life. Yes. But God sent him for training. Yes. Come on, brother. Yes. God was sending him for training. Will you see the way he had to leave? To train in school. And he went to Bonny Mountain. And there, beloved, he became a shepherd. The time came 40 years after. Think the thing was forgotten? But 40 years after, God called him by a burning bush. He saw the bush was burning. It was not consumed. Oh, mighty God. God we served. Somebody said God moving in a mysterious way. It wonders to perform. And he was amazed at this in Israel. And I said, draw not hither. Take off thy shoes. Come off thy feet. For the place where thou standest 
is holy ground. Joshua was trying to tell these people, you can only serve God in spirit and in truth. And so Moses came to the place where he was given a command, go down to Egypt and tell Pharaoh, let my people go that they may serve me. But before then, it was that he made a choice. He rather to suffer. Anybody here tonight rather to suffer? The affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. I remember the young boy getting seven, 16 years old. My companion said to me, you're not enjoying any life. You're going to trigger all of yourself. I'm used for you. When I see my companion today, they look like my grandfather. <laughs> and they always ask me, but I show how he keeps so young. Don't ask me that he's with the Lord. The same companion to me, I'm going to hold up myself in church. The same one who asked me, oh, you look so young. Some of them die and gone without the sight. Praise God, I'm kept. Amen. The mighty God is here, my friend. Look to the Lord. Serve him with all your heart. With all your strength. With all your might. And with all your mind. We cannot serve God half-heartedly. We must be determined to give all to Jesus. And that's only what will be acceptable. My friend, if you are here tonight and you're halting to opinions, I am still asking of you, make the choice and make it now. God desire. That all you do, beloved, would have been to his glory, his honor, and his praise. Amen. In Psalms 27, verse 4, the writer said, One thing of I desire of the Lord. Amen, Amen church. Amen. One thing of I desire of the Lord. Is there somebody tonight who have not yet made this mention? Will come to consciousness. And arrived at the conclusion to tell yourself one thing after hearing this message. One thing of I of the Lord. And that will I seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire in his temper. Assuring you. In the time of trouble, he shall hide you in his pavilion. God, don't you worry. Trouble is coming. Church, trouble is coming. And save loved ones, trouble is coming. It is nigh at your door. When the time of trouble spectral around you, on whom will you call? Will you call God out of your despair? Will you call him out of your fright? If you call God when you are fright, it can be serious. The answer can return when I call you didn't answer. When I stretch my hand, you didn't regard it. You did not take any of my counsel. You didn't regard me. When I reprove you, you did not accept it. I'm going to laugh at your calamity. I'm going to mock when your fear comes. And your fear shall come with a whirlwind. Look at that, my friend. Be conscious. Many people, when time, their back is on the wall. That's when they say, Lord of mercy. Out of despair. Out of dread. But the answer do not come as you expect it. Because you have hardened your heart and stiff in your neck. And so the rather said you shall be cut off without remedy. Why not escape tonight all this pollution 
and find grace and comfort and contentment in the Lord. I can assure you there is peace and joy in the Lord today. With an all in this world of sin, the happy life in the holy way. And if you accept it tonight, you'll be able to say, when all these things spectral drown you, praise God, I have entered in. I'm secure, I'm safe. From all alarms, I'm sheltered by the mighty arms. If you accept him tonight, my friend, he's more than willing Praise to acknowledge you yes. and to transform you into a new creation, yes. give you a new heart, yes. a new intention, yes. and you will find life worthwhile living. Right. It is a pleasure to serve the Lord. Amen. And so, as the people in Joshua days determined, Joshua told them, you are witnesses against yourself. Amen. My friend, will you make a vow? Keep your vow. Amen. Hello? Amen. You are responsible to make your vow and keep your vow. Don't allow when problems come, you break your vow. Don't allow when somebody accuses you, you break your vow. Make your vow. But this day is your day to make that choice. And I pray you will do it even under the bondage of my voice. May God help you to make this final decision. Hundred and fifty four, and then stand together and sing this closing song. What a wonderful message! Yes. Truly anointed from heaven, it covered from the pulpit to the pew. Yes. Every single one of us, you know, we can always point to the person next to us and say, This is for them. But what we need to do tonight is to stop and consider ourselves. We are in revival. All of us need revival. And the church should be revived first. This altar here is for our healing. Not only physical, but spiritual. And sometimes for God to bless, the church needs spiritual healing. We can stop and resist. We can make excuses for ourselves. But what we need to do, is to open our hearts and accept what God said here tonight. Every one of us can improve. I said every one of us can improve. Every one of us can be better. But we have to take responsibility for ourselves. You can't, you can't do it for the next person. We have to do it for ourselves. So may God help us as we sing, The Altar is Open. I am coming to Jesus forever. As such as the purified blood, my soul is a thirst to be blessed, to be what? What a wonderful opportunity for someone to be saved here tonight. Has the Lord spoken to your heart? Why not come? Unsaved friends, the altar is open. Young people, middle-aged people, Jesus loves you tonight. Jesus said, and his blood washes white earth and snow. In coming, my Savior, I deplore my weakness and power to show. I long to be saved evermore, to be washed and made white. 
Bird and snow, I believe Jesus said, and his blood washes white than snow. I believe Jesus said, and his blood washes white than snow. The psalmist David said in the book of Psalm, taste and see that the Lord is good. Don't go off what someone else is telling you or someone else's opinion or even someone else's example. We implore you tonight, taste of the Lord for yourself. Come, taste and see that the Lord is good. Prove him. Prove him unto yourself. And I promise you, beloved, you will never regret it. Those of us that know him, that have served him, that have endeavored to live for him, the only regret that we ever had was that we didn't do it sooner. When we think of all of the guilt, all of the heartache, the mistakes, the pitfalls that we could have been saved from. Thank God for salvation tonight. Serving Jesus is the best. Do you agree tonight? Amen. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Will you come as we sing the last two verses? Give up my own Every treasure and idol I know For its fullness of blessing I call For this blood washes water than snow the Lord I'm glad that long ago at the tender age of 15 he saved me amen, amen. and ever since I found him my life has changed amen. Jesus is the best thing that's ever happened to me amen, amen. and he, he can be yours tonight too we thank you for being here we won't prolong the service any longer we thank each and every one of you for taking the time to be here with us. If there's someone in the audience that, re that re would like the church to sincerely remember you in our prayers, please let us know by raising your hand. Yes, many uplifting hands. Amen. Sister Andelin, would you please come and dismiss the service. Let's remember tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Yeah. Sister Andelin. Pray. 
Almighty God, ruler of this universe, we give thee praise, we give thee thanks, O God. Father, the word have gone forth, Heavenly Father, we thank you, O God, for the message. We thank you for the messenger. Almighty Father, we thank you for the souls that hear, O God, that heard the voice, your voice, Heavenly Father, your words. We pray that they will linger these, this, those words in their hearts, O God. Father, the, sleep, the seed have been planted, Almighty God, and we pray, Lord, they will mature, Heavenly Father. We pray for the church, O oh God, help us to be on higher heights. Lord, help us to take the word also, O oh God, and use it, O oh God, to better matter of our souls. So bless us together, O oh God, and continue to bless these services, O oh God. Bless and guide until the day is done, Almighty Father. We pray that you guide us and take us home in safety Amen. as we leave this building, but not your presence. And we pray that you continue to dwell with us and bless each and every one. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen.